owning an aircraft is certainly one of the most fulfilling experiences one can have. And if you're using it for business, it can be one of the most useful tools that can help you advance your enterprise. I have often been asked what the best aircraft is, and there is never one answer. A lot of factors certainly come into play. In this episode, I take a look at four different aircraft with different mission profiles. Do a test flight across the country and show you what to expect when you finally decide to get the aircraft of your dreams. I was able to chat with Manfred of Embraer as the Phenom 300E arrived in Manila. So Manfred, it's funny that uh, a lot of people tend to decide on the airplane they're buying based on looks, based on what my friend has, or based on my budget. <laughs> yes. What do you think of this? Yeah, no, it's pretty true. A lot of people don't really research enough into the aircraft. It's a lifestyle choice. People can make use of aircraft to save them time. And the best way of doing this is to have a look at what your mission profile really is. Number one. Yes. yes. Where are you flying? And Distances. Uh, yes. And what kind of airports do you fly into? How many people do you need to carry? And then you decide from that and narrow down the types that are available. The Phenom 300E is the enhanced version of the 300, one of the world's best-selling business jets. We've had the benefit of starting something from scratch with that aeroplane, so the clean sheet design, and it's been improved now with the new 300E. I got the chance to use the Phenom 300E on a recent trip to Davao. The aircraft has the same smooth and powerful performance, but with a complete interior makeover. Inside a generous cabin space, you will find that the center aisle is now 3 inches wider. With newly designed diamond upholstered seats, cleverly placed drawers, and improved display mechanisms. The 300E's redesign does not stop at the cabin. The aircraft is the first to use the new touchscreen Garmin technology with bigger panel displays. Most of the old push buttons and twist knobs have been incorporated into a pair of high-resolution touchscreen controllers to manage many different tasks. The advantage of having a jet is, of course, the speed. And you can always climb higher above the weather. Having a jet is also more efficient if you are aiming for long-distance flights. The 300 East range can easily take you from Manila to Australia, Singapore, or Japan on a single refuel. Of course, if you have a bigger budget and flying for long distances, you may want to consider a mid-sized jet like the Legacy 500. A stand-up cabin, fully equipped galley and restroom, ensures comfort during a long flight. What would normally be a two-hour flight to Davao on a turboprop took us only an hour and a half on the jet. We soon arrived at the general aviation area of the Davao Airport. We were met by my good friend and fellow aviator, JJ Barcia. 